Hello everybody and welcome back to the new save file. In the last episode, I failed so heavily tragically, so tragically, at trying to somehow get to mother. This time we'll do it again. I realise that I still don't have um, the lost um, holy mantle unlocked, but it just is as it is. We're just going to have to deal with that. Oh my god, this is kind of a rough room, I'll be honest. This is kind of a rough room. Uh, oh, I did not expect to be able to freeze those things, and that actually kind of makes things a little harder. Um, that's weird. Mom's contact is, of course, fantastic. But yeah, that, that certainly causes some issues. Hey, you've got a rotten heart out of this guy. I'll definitely take that. And I'll also take the pill because I'm a madman. Have I grown up? I get to stomp on baby enemies. That's what I like to do. Bam. And come over here. Bam. It's very nice. It also lasts for a pretty, pretty significant amount of time. Like, some enemies you don't want to be stomping on, like champions like this, because they can, like, shoot you as you approach to them, but... A lot of enemies, it's easy to stomp. Okay. Again, some of these enemies a little more rough to um, to stomp on, but there you go. Okay, we need a bomb as well because we've seen it drop back there. Do they, them guys always drop bad gas? Because that, that's kind of interesting that he was like a poison one and he dropped a bad gas pill. I'm not sure if that's like an intentional design thing that always happens or what. Just look at this. It's just basically lets you full clear an entire floor. Um, it lasts for, oh my god, an unreasonably long amount of time. But that sort of stuff can happen. Oh no, we're probably gonna die here. I don't think I've ever fought this boss without being hit. Um, and this is a particularly hard version of this boss too, because the room is covered in shit. This attack here, I just do not know how to dodge. Sometimes I get lucky, but a lot of times I, I, I don't really know what's going on. Um, so, good luck to me, I guess. I wish I had a bomb right now. What the hell are they doing? Oh my god. And I forgot I had a Rotten Heart as well. That's definitely going to make things trickier. Please don't die on the first floor. I'm better than this, I promise. Oh my god, I've walked right into it again. Oh, we're fucked. We're so fucked. I, I just can't with that boss. I just can't. People have tried to describe to me how it works and how to dodge it. No, no, no. Does not comprehend her with my brain. -er. Anyways, as for the question of the day today... Simple one, but what is your favourite sandwich? This is a question of the day that someone put forward on the Discord. If you have any questions of the day, suggestions, please do, do go and live, the, live them. Leave them on the Discord, I'd love to hear them. Uh, but yeah, what is your favourite sandwich? I feel like that's a great one, because there's just so much possible variety. And if anyone says hot dog, I swear to God, because I know one of you people out there is going to fucking pull the meme and say hot dog. No. What is your favourite actual sandwich? Really? Really? You gotta do that to me? Anyways. Anyways. Enough of me being bad at this game. Um, Because for me, I, I, I'd say that at the minute mine's probably a club sandwich. I'm well into a club sandwich. Club sandwiches can just be absolutely fantastic. And I feel like, at least for me, if I ever were to get a sandwich from a restaurant or a bar or whatever, sign that's good. <coughs> if I were ever to get one from like a restaurant or bar or something, I feel like the most consistently good sandwich I've ever bought is a club sandwich. I don't know why that is, but I always seem to have much better luck with club sandwiches than anything else. Um, unfortunately, not very good, but I will grab it because it is a book. I mean, it's a good item, but like it's not very good for us because we already have one. Um, I'll take this. I realise it loses that black heart we just gained, but oh well. Um, but yeah, uh, club sandwich, it's normally a um, bit of bacon, bit of egg, bit of chicken breast, mayo. Ooh, it's, it's some good stuff. It's some really good stuff. Pretty basic sandwich, but also you, you will oftentimes get the whole, like, extra layer of bread in the middle. Oh yeah, and a bit of lettuce as well, and ooh, it just... It sings. It's such a beautiful sandwich. It does such a good job. I also do enjoy a BMT. Whenever I go to Subway, I get a BMT, which is just basically the definition of a meat sandwich. It's just all the meats in a sandwich, which I, I can highly respect. Get a bit of uh, Southwest sauce on there, a bit of garlic, um, aioli. Top tier stuff. Top tier stuff. Right, this time we got a boss that was actually reasonable. 
Got some HP. We do have the keys available to go down here. And we got a key for uh, go coming through here as well. But yeah. I'm hoping we don't die as the ghost again. If we do, we might have to go and actually unlock the um, the holy mantle. Which is going to take a while. Because I think it's... Is it 500 coins in greed mode? Or is it 500 coins in greedier mode? If it's greedier, it's going to take forever. What on earth is this enemy, by the way? The enemy looks really bizarre. Very weird looking fella. But yeah, sandwiches are just the greatest, aren't they? Like, one thing that I always find interesting about a sandwich, it, it, just as a concept in general, and this might sound a bit weird, but like, bread is good. I like bread. But, the, the bread of a sandwich, it's kind of just there to make eating the filling socially acceptable, right? <laughs> like... If you just sat there and ate, like, a pack of pepperoni, you'd look like a bit of a freak. But, if you put a pack of pepperoni in a sandwich with some lettuce and mayo, suddenly perfectly acceptable. <laughs> but, yeah, I feel like so many sandwich fillings, the bread is just a delivery device for food that would otherwise be not socially acceptable to eat. Uh, oh, strawberry milk. Hell yes. Oh, the other one was 2020. Honestly? Oh, what is... What is Apparently, Strawberry Milk has a charge bar now for some reason. Okay. I think they somewhat fixed Strawberry Milk to stop it. Yeah, they did. Okay. I don't know when that got changed, but they must have fixed Strawberry Milk because now it doesn't just give you a permanent two times damage up if you tap fire. If you tap fire, it does slowly go down. Good stuff. It's interesting that it has a charge bar. Now, really? Health down. Could you not, game? Could you not? Petrified poop. Thank you. Thank you, game. Right, shop should be pretty decent for us here as well. Hopefully get a soul heart. Or maybe a bit more money and get an item. Okay, so yeah, they somewhat fixed strawberry milk. Tap firing does still make it really good. Okay, you guys are a... This is just a very annoying room, actually. Like, like an unbelievably annoying room. Holy hell. Luckily, these guys do just fly away eventually. But yeah, before, if you tap... Sh if you just tap shot, you could keep the two times damage up, like, permanently. Whereas now, even if you tap shoot, it, it degrades pretty quickly. So it's, it's made it into an item that's actually viable. Now, when did that get changed? I don't know when they fixed that. Good that they did, though. This item used to... It's, this, this item is still very, very good, don't get me wrong. But it used to be very overpowered. Of course, the copper bomb didn't even blow up. Oh, wait. I didn't realise that putting a bomb next to a copper bomb blew it up. It's interesting. Uh, filigree feather is fucking amazing for us right now. Um, right. Let's get gone to the next floor. Hopefully we can make filigree feather, feather work. I did lose my devil deal there. Didn't quite have enough for an item, so I didn't bother going to the shop that floor. But this floor I probably will. Did I just lose my devil deal again? Boy! Why am I so terrible at Isaac over the past few days? Fuck me. It's embarrassing. <laughs> so bad. I hate it. Boy gets 11 wins in a row and then just shits the bed. It's very upsetting. Okay, let's check in here. What does this do again? Half heart damage is now taken at three hearts all below. Okay, that's pretty good. We'll take that if we can. I'm hoping we get enough money from this room, but... Oh, we don't have petrified poop anymore. Balls. I was like, oh yeah, this will easily get us enough money. Yeah, we don't have petrified poop anymore, so... No, it won't. Right, give me that. I still feel like I'm gonna die here, like... Honestly, the fire rate isn't even that good for us with Strawberry Mill. Like, our active isn't that necessary anymore. Health at least. 
God damn, yeah. So we have filigree feather, but we ain't getting an angel deal anytime soon because I keep shit in the bed. Pretty sure it's a secret room. <gasps> platinum poop! Yes! The rarest of rare platinum poops. That's what we like to see. Also take a scratcher, why not? Pretty good. Um, Three jo jolly pills? Joy pills? Oh, joy pills, okay. Activates the joyful effect instantly. Uh, using three joy pills within a 10 second period will apply a random... Will uh, apply the addicted pill effect to you until the condition is no longer true. I don't really know what these pills do, I'll be honest. I guess. Oh, it's only for the room. Okay, that, eh. They're not super useful to me. I'm going to leave those where they are. Item room or item room? Where do you sit? I want to find out what's, what's on this button. Nothing interesting, apparently. But yeah, if I hold fire like that, look, it, it drains really fast. You want to be—you still want to be tap firing. Make sure it doesn't drain too quickly, because it is double damage. I do not like the situation I found myself in here. Yep, managed to get hit there. Lovely. Not the best player by me. Not the best player. For some reason, my Isaac skills have gone away. Turns all blood dish, dish machines into void machines. I, yeah, I need to figure out how those void machines exactly work. This is an item that I enjoy a lot, so I will take. People think I'm wrong. They think I'm a wrong'un. But I truly do enjoy my reflection. Especially if you've got high range. It's just all positive, in my opinion. Right, fire time. Which, this, this actually might have been a terrible idea, because this might be combat, this room. I didn't actually think about that. So let's see. It isn't good. I thought it was the mirror room, but it could have been a combat room. Right. Luckily, we don't have many rooms to go here, but this room is a particularly hard one, so... We want to kill the fat guy first, and then stay the hell away. Oh, what the hell is going on with the mirror room and my, uh... My charge bar there. Some wacky shit going on with that right there. Um, when given a choice between items, you may take them all. This is a tricky one. I I, I think I'm going to take this. A filigree Feather's really good, but that seems just infinitely better when we're going on the alt path, right? Right, anyways, we did it. We got the piece. This is the best attempt so far, regardless of the fact that I keep losing my devil deals. What is this button? It was just an enemy. Love it. Was it just one enemy? Oh, it's one at each door. God damn, this is an annoying one. Right. Out we go, boss time. We need two bombs remaining, but we can use two bombs for the actual boss itself if we'd like to. But yeah, so far, I'm pretty happy with what we've got going on here. And honestly, yes, please, I will use a bomb on this guy. He annoys the bejeebus out of me. Oh, Mr. Dolly, fantastic. Oh, and the three soul hearts. Pretty good stuff. Righty her then. Down we go. Down we go. Okay, so we got quite a few more floors of double items here. So this is going to be really, really good. Obviously, some of them are random, so we might get some absolute dog shit here and there. But I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful. Oh my god, we got a burn heart there as well. We don't have a bomb to get into that secret room yet. I didn't really think about that when I used the, um, used the card. How do these guys work? Okay, they flip over and then we can kill them, I see. Okay, not too bad. Pretty cute enemies, actually. There are some really, like, cutesy designs for some of the Fiendfolio enemies, I've got to say. Some of them are just so, so cute. 
Um, trinket thingy? Nah, I, I really want to keep the trinkets that I've got right now. But, I will say, something that I will do... I can't remember how these rooms work, by the way. There's something to do with the light here, but I don't remember what it is. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Um, we'll save ourselves a key. And bomb through the wall. And we get... Where's our, where's our item choice? Please, don't, please tell me there... Are, okay, there is a choice. Good. Okay, pinhead. Really, really good. Yeah, how do these work again? Don't know. But then we get our choice as well. Oh, Seraphim. Hell yeah. Yeah, this is a good choice of items. While I do really love um, Filigree Feather, this is just bound to be so much better. Also, the pin shots. Just having piercing makes them incredible. Also, if we get angel deals, we might get the opportunity to take multiple on the angel deals themselves. It's pretty awesome. I'm a little late to the party with getting angel deals, mind you. But, hey-ho. Don't actually have to kill that, uh, that guy, I don't think. Oh, no, we do. We do. I wouldn't have thought he'd be a required enemy. Um, voodoo pin? If the pin hits monsters, it will... Interesting. That's a very, very cool sounding item. I, I don't want to swap it for my book, but it's a very cool sounding item. My book isn't actually that valuable anymore, though. I, c I could swap it out for something if I wanted to. Just to check. I don't think it's a secret room, but yeah. In fact, I knew it wasn't. I've already been to the secret room. Fool. Oh my god, the pin shot. It's so strong. Who are you calling pinheads? By the way, I do have the mod that means that I don't have to do the mother chase. People were asking, hey, on the new save file, are you going to do the mother chase still? No, I'm not. Main reasons being, one, it's boring. I've gotten used to it. I realize there is a risk in it and I could lose HP and stuff, so it is a bit cheaty to not do it. But also, on a heavily modded save file, for some reason, the chase sequence is super laggy and it, it just leads to a very unpleasant experience. So, I will not be doing the chase sequence, as it is intended, at least. Oh god, I'm about to lose my devil deal here if I'm not careful. We got it, we got it. So we don't want to go into the devil deal here, we want to try and get Angel. Um, I guess I'll take this. Um, tears? down. Cyanide is good cyanide. though. I'll take cyanide. Oh, a little bit of an oof on the tears down, but as I said, we don't really need tears too much, even though we're playing as Jerb. It's a bit of a bit of a weird situation we've got going on, really, I'll be honest. It's, it's, it's a little bit of a strange one. But it kind of just is what it is. I'd like to get a red heart, please, so I can keep my uh, angel chance alive. It's annoying how many angel deals I'm going to have missed out on here, but it is what it is. Kind of an interesting room there. I like that. I like that a lot. What will the item room this time bequeath upon us? I would like it to be... I don't know. What, what, what sort of thing would we like to see here? Another room we don't have to actually do anything in there. I don't really know. Some of these spiders? No, none of them are spiders. Okay. What would I actually want to see from my item room? Probably a like a better active, something that's going to be more useful to us, I guess. Well, that's kind of an interesting way of doing our room. Good, good. We got... I'm not quite sure what that is. Is this cigarettes? Superior, okay, it looks like a packet of cigarettes. Um, that's really good. Damage against non-bosses, 30% increase. And then we also get Bedbug, which... Bedbug seems to be an item that just won't leave me alone. I, I get it so often. That's a cool enemy. Oh god, you are hidden there. 
Uh, Nightmare Fuel, very, very good trinket, but honestly, our trinket right now is so overpowered for the alt path that I cannot fathom. Right. Good, good, good. Um, doubles all trinket spawns, converts any trinket to gold on use. If, it, if we had a way of smelting, that'd be pretty good, but we don't. Let's just donate a little bit here. Just down to 15. We'll also bomb you as well and see if we get a bit more money. We don't, sadly. Right. We're just beelining to the boss now, pretty much. Oh, we can, we can pin these guys together before... Oh, that's pretty cool. You can pin them together, like, before they become um, unimmune to damage. We got Great Gideon here, of course. I'm hoping we get an angel deal here, but I'm having a feeling that we won't. Okay, careful of- oh, that's- I was like, where'd that bomb come from? It's just you. Okay, I did get hit there, so I am one hit off losing my angel deal anyways. Does make me a bit fearful in general. Okay, you do that. Oh god, that like spawned on me there. Okay, good. This is just a little bit risky all in all. I just don't know what's coming a lot of the time here. This is worth 6 of 6 though. Unlock the ash pit. We did get an angel deal. Awesome. Safety pin's also very, very nice. And we get Immaculate Heart. Unfortunately, no choice of items. I was hoping for a choice there, but it is what it is. Um, I'm going to bomb the angel statue and get the key piece just for the higher chance of... Um... Oh, wait. All of these are pin shots now. Um... Oh, no. We're just getting lucky. Okay. I thought all of them were pin shots. We just got really lucky. Uh, just, just that for the slightly higher angel chance and also the chance of... Um... The heart replacements. Getting some eternal hearts. Oh wait, there's a cyanide pill here. Cyanide. Gimme, gimme. Right. Down we go to the mausoleum. We do not need our key piece. Do not worry about that. Hey ho, we're actually on a mother run here. Oh no, curse the blind. What am I ever going to do? Ooh, the crow enemies. Honestly, I really like having immaculate heart here. Very, very cool. We have our teleporter room here. Um, these are a bit jank still, I think. The segmented mausoleum, but I'm still going to do it anyways. The minimap gets really balked up. Um, so, for one, it shows these rooms as red rooms. And also, it'll show, like, one room as being a shop or, like, a devil deal room. But it's not. It's, it's a little bit box, Truly. Can I get a red heart to fill this burn heart at some point, please? Oh, dude. Dude. Get away from me. Oh my god, I'm losing health like crazy here. Like, this boss says mini boss room. There's a good chance it's just not. Also, that, that herming shot there was pretty brutal. Oh no, it, it actually is. Oh, wait, no. No, it's not. <laughs> I thought that might be an actual mini boss. No. So that does happen sometimes where you get, like, an incorrect icon. I think it's minimap API, and this mod just don't work very well together. There is supposed to be a shop or, like, an item room that you can get from going to the segmented mausoleum, but I found that that just doesn't work sometimes. The mod seems to have some sort of incompatibility with something I'm using. Good. But I like doing the extra rooms regardless. Some difficult enemies in this mausoleum though, god damn. Some enemies that make me scurred. Okay. It's probably the latter room here. Yeah. 
So that room there, the one that was just a nothing room, is technically supposed to be like a shop or an item room or some sort of room of value. But for some reason, a lot of the time it just isn't for an inexplicable reason that I can't tell you. Um, yeah, a little, little bit annoying. But it is what it is. Anyways, that is the alt mausoleum completed. We get one of those pair floor as well, I'm pretty sure. Just a bunch of extra rooms to get some consumables. We'll use that angel disc here and see what we end up getting. Honestly, nothing particularly amazing there. Cycle protection is probably the better thing. Out of the lot. Yeah, it's actually quite worthwhile. Not quite sure what your deal's about. We got the D12 here, which... I don't know. I do like the D12 more. And we don't need the fire rate, so maybe. Maybe I'll take the D12. The D12 isn't, like, amazing, but it can give you some good stuff. Since it got buffed. Oh, hello there, sir. I'll come back to you once I've been to the shop, but you are definitely a contender for where I should spend my money. Okay, good. Whoa, look at all those tears. Hello there, sir. Right. Back this way, back we go. I love the teleporters as well on this floor. I'm so glad they stuck with those. Our free trial has ended. Fuck. I tried to cheese it. And it got me hit. Foolish boy. Shouldn't have tried the cheese. I'm actually really low on health at the moment. I'm a little bit afraid for that. Our health could be a real problem down the line. I'm hoping there'll be a few places on this floor where we can get a bit more though. Like here? Yes. Exactly like here. Hazard. Those bags are super useful. Good old blood bag. I do love the fact that it is just like a literal bag of blood. Off it. I get hit immediately. Why am I so poor at this game? These guys are pretty tricky, to be honest. They're a bit tanky. You can cover the entire room in flames. Oh god, this guy's creating ghosts all over the place. Apparently our item room is just miles away. Oh god, what the hell was that? Little spooky boy. What are these little spooky boys? Ah! I wasn't ready for this. Who are you? Hey, we finally got our tears up back. Who who, who on earth is this guy? Who is this fella? Okay. Get me out of this room right now. Because this is horrendous. I'm getting absolutely destroyed. Dude. These guys are fucking crazy. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> I need to go back and get some health now. What, them, them enemies are really rough. I've, I don't think I've ever experienced those enemies before. They fire some really aggressive shots. I might not be able to make Mother, to be honest. I'm honestly a little afraid. Our health has gone down very, very significantly. To the point of putting me in tears. I'm so sad. I don't know what these guys do. Oh, uh, these guys like the opposite. They they can only die once everything else is dead. And I don't know really what's going on with you guys, but I don't care for it. Whatever it is. Boom. Mulligan. Very good. Witch Wand is fine. It gives us some HP at least. Right. Right. Oh, where we go. Um, shop is one more thing we need to see, which is, I believe, this last room here. Oh, God, I didn't realize he did that. Bugger. 
Hey, we've got one of these brimstone fellas, though. That's nice. Don't charge into them, dude. That's just stupid. Lost more health again. Good, good. Um, I will take. Not that good, to be honest. And I will take. Chaos, that's gonna... That's gonna spice things up a little bit, I'd think. Right, I probably should've just re-rolled until I got some HP, to be honest. That would've been the smarter player, but... What is done, is done. We shall get out of here. We will at least blow up our little mammon beggar, though. Because he will give us a capsule and we blow him up guaranteed, I think. That he will. A luck upgrade is very nice. You just killed yourself on the fire. What was the point in that, sir? What did that achieve? Oh god, warp zone. This is a boss that I have not fought yet. Or at least, not in a long time. He can be a tricky boss. He basically spawns in other bosses that have, like, slightly bizarre movesets. That can be notoriously tricky. What do we got now? I don't know what all these glowing bits are. Oh, they're rocks. Okay. Interesting. Cool, we got him. Really cool boss design. No angel deal. Encyclopedia of Diseases. On use gain either a disease or medical condition for the rest of the floor. Okay, we also got bookworm out of this, which is rather nice. I don't know what that is. Uh, I'm guessing it's like common cold and stuff. It gives us items that are based on diseases and medical conditions. The mulligan. For the rest of the floor, nice. Very interesting. That's a really cool book, to be honest. Black Candle, very nice. Cat food doesn't really make much of a difference, but it is HP, which we've been needing. Oh, and now we got Bookworm. We're going to be getting uh, maggots every now and again. Or worm, should I say. As it is Bookworm. A little bit of a confusing rework, to be honest, but it is what it is. It's not really a rework as much as it is just an addition. I feel like Bookworm was one that really didn't need anything new. But I suppose the new thing is so inconsequential that it's like not really a bonus. And then we got the Wiz. Oh, what? For the rest of the floor. Are you kidding me? How is the Wiz a medical condition? Tell me. Oh, I see what's going on in this room. Um, yeah, like I said, I need you to move. Wait, do I see what's going on? What the hell's... What the hell happened then? What, what hit me? Either way, we got through it. Um, oh, bugger this. I'm not pissing around waiting for you to destroy all these rocks. Fuck off! <laughs> This room is annoying. Holy hell, we're going to have a lot of fellas following us around here. Is there much else we need to do on this floor? Not really. I guess we just go. Uh, let's, let's get one more item first. I can't believe it gave us the whiz. That is just offensive. Is is the medical condition just that we're terminally stupid? Is that the is that the whole thing like Dunscan? But yeah, that's kind of thrown a spanner in the works, really, hasn't it? Sinus infection. Okay, that makes me happy. That is an item that can make a big impact. Ow. Wow, okay, we killed her fast. 
There's our knife piece. Here's this. Golden champion belt, I did not realize would be in the devil deal. I will take it for a ridiculous damage increase. Oh, it's chaos, isn't it? Of course. And this is this is just free health. It does give us a bunch of rotten hearts, though, so that's a little bit tricky. Oh, these guys have become champions because I got champion belt. Yeah, these guys do a lot of work. Wow. Okay, that wasn't so bad at all. Let's get out of here. It's on to mother. I'm a little bit worried about the vast amount of rotten hearts that I have. But... Hey, her. The corpse is festering. But I just arrived here. Hey, we don't have the wish shot anymore. Kind of forgot that that would go away. I'm still going to use the book again. It might come back, but... The book's really cool. I'm not going to not use it. Right, everything being a champion. Doesn't actually matter that much because we'd be taking full heart damage regardless. So, and some enemies can't be champions anyways, so... It shouldn't make that much of a difference. What on earth is going on here? The mulligan. Okay, maybe you get the same ones in the same order. Or maybe we just got lucky in getting the mulligan again. Oh, what the fuck? What was alive then? I could not tell you what was alive right then. Good. Oh, bugger. We lost our burn heart. I told you the rotten hearts were going to be an issue. Oh god, the skulls are so fast. Also some maggots over here that are not willing to move over towards me. We don't have a lot of bombs either. Bombs are really good for the mother fight, so it'd be nice to have more of those. They're a bit tanky. Oh god. Lots of stuff that I don't know how to deal with on this floor. I haven't been to the corpse a ton on Fiend Folio, so a lot of enemies that I don't recognize super well. No, no, it is random. I've shot the same first one. Honestly, once they're conjoined, once they're attached, damage will rain forth. We are all out of strawberry milk, though. Tear detonator is a really interesting one, actually. Because we can do this. Get a bunch of tears surrounding us and then go boom. Yeah, I'm going to take that. It recharges over time as well, so. Uh, we got piercing in here, which I don't think is really all that necessary. Magneto is fine, I guess. <laughs> yeah, that, that's, that's a very cool book, but I think that tear detonator is likely to provide us with a potentially bigger bonus. If we if we got the right items... Oh, we got P Blessing of Guppy. Blessing of Guppy basically just gives us Guppy for the floor. That's really good for this fight. That's going to be really nice. Okay. I don't know what that eye does, but I'm not prepared to find out. Oh god, I see, I see. That's an interesting idea for an enemy. Cyanide. Cyanide. Pretty good stuff. Piercing is pretty good with tier detonator, to be fair, but I couldn't risk losing the HP. And to be fair, the needles that we fire already have piercing, so it's like, we kind of pseudo already have it, so... Don't know, waste HP on it sort of thing. Yeah, tier detonator it was the right choice. What card is this? Invoke the D7 effect. Eh, it could be useful, but I'm not going to worry about it too much. Are they tinted rocks? I don't think they are. They have an X on the top, but I don't think that means they're tinted rocks. More bombs, that's what I was asking for. So we can stop Mother in her tracks. More bombs, come to me. Thank you. 
We got health back straight after being hit by that, so it didn't really matter. Look at that. It just wrecks everything. What are you? Weird little lump. I wish Soul of Jacob and Ezo actually worked. It's a very useful uh, rune, but just doesn't work most of the time. Haven't been able to use it on modded for a long while. Okay, onto the boss here. Let's not get hit in this last room, shall we? Right, let's go. Bit low HP to do this and a lot of rotten hearts makes me a bit scared, but... Oh, for God's sake, I've been hit already. This attack's always a bit of a, a random one, because sometimes it can hit you super easily and other times it takes a while for it to get you. Same with this one, really. I'm trying to not fire too much to build up strawberry milk again while I use my bombs. Damn it. Okay, first phase is done. Happy about that. Second phase is the trickier one in terms of how much damage I end up taking usually. Ah, oh, bollocks. Ooh, ooh. If that guy doesn't die... Oh, God. I stood in the wrong place. He lasted a little while. Oh, my God. Why do I just keep standing in the wrong place? I'm definitely going to die here. Oh, no, 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 no. So afraid. Why did I end up standing to the right? The right is like the worst place you can stand for this attack. It's also laggy as fuck right now. Yep. Basically nothing I could do to get away from that. Okay, that was, that was, I had to focus up so hard then. First mother kill actually feels so good. Sisyphus has appeared in the basement, awesome. There you go, I hope you guys did enjoy that one, a very, very fun one indeed. And I will see you guys in the next one.